Okay, in today's video, we're going to determine the amount of work that you do, the amount of work done on the box when you either walk the box up the ramp like the orange guy is going to do, or you simply lift the box up the floor, off, excuse me, off the floor at the top of the ramp like the green guy is going to do. So we're going to calculate the amount of work done by the orange guy when he carries the box up the ramp. Then we're going to calculate the amount of work done by the green guy when he lifts the box up the ramp. And then, of course, we're going to compare the two. And you may be asking yourself already, who does more work, the orange guy or the green guy? That is going to be a fascinating answer. Okay, now... Um, we're going to calculate work, so we need our work equation. Work is the FD times the cosine of theta, force times the distance times the angle times theta, which theta is the angle between the force and the displacement, or the force and the distance. Okay, now let's just say the box, the boxes are identical, and they both have a weight, a gravitational force of 98 newtons. And when you hold the box like this in your arms, like the orange guy is doing, or the box is sitting on the floor, like here with the green guy, that there is an applied force, or maybe in this case with the green guy, a normal force that is opposite in direction, but equal in magnitude, and that would be also 98 newtons. Therefore, the ramp, let's say the ramp has a length of 7 meters and has a height of 3 meters. And... We're going to do some calculations for the amount of work done for each of those two guys. Now, we're going to start with the orange guy. And I just want to say, when he's standing at the bottom of the ramp, not moving, he's applying a force of 98 newtons opposite of gravity to hold the box in his arms. But he's not moving. And when you're standing there not moving, even though you're applying a force, you're doing no work because there's no distance. And therefore, if the distance is zero, the work you do is zero, even though your arms may get tired. But... If you walk like this at a constant velocity, the guy's cool, he can walk without moving his legs. You walk to the top of the ramp at a constant velocity, then you are applying a force over a distance, and then you are doing work, and we can use the work equation Fd cosine theta to calculate how much work you do. Now, we know, as we said already, the applied force, as you walk, up the you walk the box up the ramp, you're applying a force of 98 newtons, and you're applying that force over some distance. Now, the most interesting part of this, or maybe the most interesting part of this, um, is what is the distance? Because really, maybe there's two options. Is it the height or the length? Now, you are walking up seven meters, but you'll notice the force that you're applying is pointing in the y direction, and therefore, you should use the displacement, or you need to use the displacement in the y direction, which is three meters, which is the height. Now, sometimes if you're working with simple machines and you would have a force that would be applied parallel to the ramp, parallel to the length of the ramp, then you might use the seven meters. But the force you're applying is in the y direction and therefore you need to use the distance in the y direction, the displacement of, <clears throat> excuse me, of three meters. So now we know the force, we know the distance, and we can calculate the amount of work, which is 98 newtons is the force. The distance we just said is three meters. Now, the angle theta is zero degrees because the angle between the applied force and the displacement is zero degrees. When, the, when they both point in the same direction and they're parallel to each other, then it's zero degrees, and the cosine, as you know, of zero degrees is one, and therefore the amount of work the orange guy does when he walks the box up the ramp at a constant velocity is 294 joules. The force he applied was 98 newtons, and the box has been raised a distance of three meters. Now we can calculate the amount of work done by the green person. They're simply going to take the box off the floor and lift it up to the top of the ramp, which is again, three meters. We said the boxes are identical. So therefore, as he does that at a constant velocity, he has to apply a force also of 98 newtons. And we can see he lifts it up just like that. And I know it's three meters and that might be a little high for most people, but let's just say you can do that. Now we can calculate the amount of work. The work is the applied force. Well, the applied force is 98 newtons. 
The distance, once again, now you can see this maybe a little sim more simply, he raises the box up three meters parallel to the applied force, and therefore, once again, theta is zero degrees, and the cosine of zero degrees is one. Therefore, it's just 98 times three times 294. And you will notice, lo and behold, whether, like the orange guy, you walk the box up the ramp, or like the green guy, you simply lift the box up from the floor to the top of the ramp, the amount of work that each person does is the same. Okay, it's the same. It does not matter whether you use the ramp or you simply lift the box up. The work is the same. You don't get less work for using the ramp. Okay, or you don't have to do less work for using the ramp. Okay, so there you go. That's the work you do as you walk the box up the ramp or you lift the box up. And for walking it, of course, it would be the same idea whether you use a ramp, whether you use stairs or a ladder, the work would be the same. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please give me a positive comment in the comment section below or a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.